G'day everybody. Alright. So I found an article on the internet and um, it's about regrowing kitchen scraps. So um, I wanted to show everyone because you know it's aligned with growing and that's generally what this playlist is about. Not totally just the uh, $30 Bandit series where I get paid to plant plants for people and to support myself sometimes. I use a bit of the donations. And um, you know, I want to teach people to and have um, other films just there for free. So what I'm going to do now is screencast this article and because I haven't researched it, I'm going to research it with you and for you as well. So we may as well do it, um, I may as well show you as I research it because um, the list of 18 uh, kitchen scraps that you can regrow from like the scraps, <laughs> like bok choy, put it in water and it grows again. Um, each one has a link and you can open it and it tells you how to grow it, so I'm going to go through them all. <laughs> and you guys may as well see it um, because yeah, I haven't done it yet and so I'm going to do it now. Alright. Um Okay, sorry about that. I didn't have my um, microphone actually plugged in. I just had it on my head like an idiot. <laughs> so that's why that um, last bit of the recording was sounding a bit uh, strange and far off and stuff because I didn't actually have the microphone plugged in. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open these one by one. So it's 18 food scraps you can regrow from the kitchen. Um, so here's the onion one. Let's control plus the screen so you guys can see it better. Let's see what that word means. Ah, okay, so it says that you want to chop the onion uh, bottom with all the roots still intact. The more of a bottom you leave on, the better. Try for 1.5 to 2 uh, inches of attached meat. Allow to dry for a few hours to a couple days in a shaded, well-ventilated area to allow for kalousing, or kalousing, which means uh, toughening. So you want to let it toughen up. And someone's commented, can you elaborate on this statement? Why should you let it dry? Is it necessary? The reason you want it to want to allow coalescing is help prevent disease such as fungus. Oh, okay, I didn't do it with the example one. And as you can see from the updates, it's still growing and has a few leaves now. However, you will have a better success rate over time in coalescing a little bit even if it's for a few hours is not a for a, if not for a bit longer. If the only way you try this is to immediately plug them into the ground after cutting, then go with that. You might have fewer onions than if you coloused. Okay, so that's onions. Now it mentions beets, but it has this big write-up. Um, so beets you can regrow. And that's the first one, but it, I'm not sure it even says how to grow the beets. Um, I quickly skimmed over it. Talking about celery and stuff, so you can go through that part. Let's have a look at basil, lemongrass, and mushroom. So, grow bar basil. Ah, oh, okay, so it's just the picture. So you get your basil, and it will root out. So you just put it in some water, and re-root it. Wow, that's simple. Okay. And then what else we got here? Another link. 
16 foods. Oh, okay, so they've stolen some from this link. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a good thing. At least if you regrow your kitchen scraps, you know that it's free of pesticides and free of chemical and genetic meddling. That's true, that's a good one. So this is for lemongrass. To propagate it, place the root end after you cut the rest off in a glass jar with a little water. So that's usually the technique. There's ginger and stuff there. Okay, this is the same link. Celery, bok choy, romaine, lettuce and cabbage. Similar to leeks, these vegetables will regrow from the white root end. Cut the stalks off as you normally would and place the root end in a shallow bowl of water. And, uh, uh, sorry, enough to cover the roots but not the top of your cutting. Place it in a Sunday window position, occasionally spraying your cutting with water to keep the top moist. Now I'd say at least twice a day when you're trying to root something. After a few days you should start to see roots and new leaves appear. Okay, let's go. There's bok choy. We just read that. Garlic, ginger, pumpkin, and lentils. Five foods. Oh, there's another article. Five foods you can grow from leftovers. So this is like an eclectic article made up of a number of other websites. So celery from the leftover stalk stub. You can just regrow it. Regrowing ginger root. So take a fresh root, that's one that's not wrinkly or dried out for ginger, and partially submerged in soil. Arrange so any nubbins are pointed up or on the side and keep in moderately moist and fertile soil. Within a few weeks it will root. Okay, and it says remember to bring your growing ginger indoors over winter unless you live in a particularly warm or tropical climate. How to grow garlic. Uh, actually, that was the next one, wasn't it? So we can delete that. So, oops. What to do with those tiny garlic cloves that you can't be bothered to peel. Plant them and get double duty from your cloves by regrowing the garlic. So those little pieces you can just regrow them if you can't be bothered to peel them. <laughs> okay, let's remember to chop off the scape. Once you pour off the scape, the garlic plant will pour its energy into fattening a big tasty bulb for harvesting. <laughs> How to grow sweet potatoes. I've actually had these sprout in the cupboard. <laughs> sweet potatoes. So half submerge a sweet potato in, and in a glass of water. Hint toothpicks work well for helping potatoes levitate over a glass rim. Start sprouting. Green onions. Actually, I, in my first $30 Bandit video, the gorilla growing that got me going, show you, uh, talk about how I um, have planted the chives that I just bought from the store because I had root mass still left on them after I ate them for a meal in a salad. I thought, oh well, I might as well plant it. And, and now it provides me all the time. Every uh, two weeks I'll harvest a um, little a little handful of each um, chives. Okay, so pumpkin, another website. Mm, okay. We left all the guts and seeds as they were, except the few that came out with the lid. Here is last year's plant when it sprouted. So you put soil in there and it'll sprout because <laughs> the seeds are in there. Nice. And another website. 
how to grow sprouts. So actually there's a good video on growing sprouts that John Cola has from growingyourgreens.com where he went to uh, Got Sprouts. So if you type into YouTube Got Sprouts growingyourgreens.com it should come up. And that's a really good video and microgreens are really good because they're nutrient dense. Some of the most nutrient dense foods on the planet. Okay. How to regrow avocado. So yeah, you can regrow avocado seeds, but I heard that only 1 in 6 or 1 in 10 will actually bear avocados. So say you grow 10, only one or two of them will end up in 6 years or whatever growing, avo bearing avocado fruit. So uh, be aware of that, it might be a little trouble. That's what I heard. I don't know if these guys say anything different. Even though trees rooted like this rarely bear fruit without help, more on that in a little bit, it is still a ton of fun to plant your own tree and watch it grow. So they might mention that as well, what I was just saying. You must, uh, not every pit is guaranteed to root even. So yeah, the avocados are a little bit um, uh, fickle, so to speak, or um, maybe unproductive. with patience and a little luck, so yeah, uh, a little bit of probability involved in that one. Growing Celery, another different website, okay, so that looks easy, plant it in there, and it's all about watering it at least twice a day when you get up and go to bed, simple. How to grow pineapple, so yeah, I'm pretty sure you, so, oh, okay, they've got a big step one, step two, step list. So you cut it and the adhering flesh should be trimmed off its base to prevent rotting after planting. After trimming carefully slice small horizontal sections from the bottom of the crown until you see root buds that appear as small dots or circles on the flat cut surface. Ooh, okay. Yep. Root the crown, put it in water, and then plant it. Okay, what's this one? A different website again. Grow carrots from carrots, sprouting carrot tops with kids. So that looks easy. Put it in water. Again, you can use toothpicks. So here we go. The last four. Green onions and leeks, potato, sweet potatoes. I think we already covered that tomatoes and apples. Now I'll add blueberries because tomatoes, you know, you just put the seeds in and they root, uh, they'll come up pretty easily because they're pretty viny as a plant. Now also blueberries, you know, just get the seeds, separate the seed on, on a napkin or something and, and put it in water and then, you know, uh, put it in some soil after a couple of days or something. So potatoes, They're talking about getting seed potatoes. I'll let you read that one. So yeah, it's just the same method for tomatoes as if you're buying the seed. Pretty simple. So you want to really... Uh, the tomato seeds are ready for gardening and should be planted within seven days of removal to prevent the seeds from contamination. How to grow apple seeds. Ah, Johnny Appleseed. If Summer is watching this, Summer Moon Healing. Hey, Summer. <laughs> Another mention. Uh, Summer actually said, I've got a resonance of Johnny Appleseed or something. <laughs> so she mentioned that as a, a resonance for me and this $30 bandit thing that I'm doing project <laughs> or occupation. So yeah, <laughs> it's come up again. Okay, uh, don't expect to end up with the same sweet fruit as the apple you retrieve the seeds from. As apples propagated through seeding don't come true to seed. 
So a lot of plants don't come true to seed. You will more you will more than likely end up with sour fruits. Actually, I don't think that's a bad thing, is it? Um, I know that we've man's changed apples over the eons and time to make it sweet, and and uh, the old apples back thousands of years ago used to be uh, sour and bitter with better health uh, prowess. So I wonder if that's a bad thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. The 15 minutes of this screencast matic is almost up. I'm using screencast matic Alright, thanks guys. I hope you learned something from that. I sure did.